Deputy Noel Grealish. Uh, Taoiseach, the traffic problems that are plaguing Galway City are well documented and in excess of €35 million Euro has been spent in the last 20 years to progress a ring road. On Tuesday last, the Minister for Transport stated that the current plans for a ring road could not proceed and that the MTA, the local authority and the Department of Transport would have to look at a new transport strategy for Galway. The following day, here in Dundal, on Tánis de Mial Martin said that the N6 Galway Ring Road is essential for the growth and development of Galway City and for the relief of unacceptable congestion. Galway City Council, Galway County Council and TII have issued a joint statement confirming that they are committed to the project, but there is now growing confusion and concern in Galway about the mixed messages from senior parties in government. Businesses and residents who are plagued with daily traffic congestion are worried about the lack of a commitment uh, by the Minister for Transport. Tisha, can you please clearly outline what is your position and that of your government regarding this vital piece of infrastructure for Galway? Thank you, Taoiseach. Thanks, um, uh, thanks Deputy. I, I should say that this is ultimately going to be a matter for Ambor Panala to decide on, uh, and it has been remitted uh, to Ambor Panala for a decision taking into account um, the Climate Action Plan. Um, but I'll be very straight with you, Deputy. Um, while there are different views in government on this matter, and that happens sometimes, and sometimes it's a healthy thing, um, I'm a supporter of the Galway uh, Ring Road. Um, it is in the National Development Plan, and the National Development Plan uh, is government policy, uh, and therefore, if it gets planning permission, uh, then uh, it will be funded um, because it's in the National Development Plan, and that is part of the, the um, of the program for government. Um, and I don't accept the view that it will necessarily be uh, bad in terms of climate, uh, because it will take a long time to build it. And by the time it's being built, I would hope the vast majority of our vehicles will be electric and 80% of electricity will come from renewables. Uh, and that will put a very different picture on it in terms of the emissions Thank created you, and that it will free up the city for cycling and for buses and for pedestrians. Deputy McGrath.